Welcome to Aerial Images Video Magazine number 27. I'm Fred Johnson. I'll be your host. We saved our video from the summer of 2019 when we visited Normandy battle sites in June, less than two weeks after the 75th anniversary of D-Day. If, like so many of us, you have watched the classic movies about D-Day, this trip will have a comfortable yet exciting sense of familiarity, like you've already been there. Utah Beach is interpreted by an interesting museum housing many relics and a restored Martin B-26 Marauder. The uneven grassy terrain at Pont du Hoc still registers the effect of Allied bombardment so many years ago. U.S. Army Rangers scaled the bluff here. Over the next two days, their attack was met with German counterattack.
the American Cemetery and Memorial overlooks Omaha Beach, site of deadly fighting as the landing troops faced heavy German defensive fire. The cemetery is the burial place for more than 9,000 Americans, casualties of the invasion and other combat on the continent. We found the trip to Normandy confirmed, many times over, the deep sense of respect and awe we have for the Americans and allies who set the course of history here. The steam locomotives of the Union Pacific attracted many photographers through the end of the steam era on this mainline American railroad. Union Pacific embraced the Challenger series of large articulated steam locomotives for its fast freight and some passenger operations from the last half of the 1930s into the 1950s. This is number 3959, delivered in May 1942. Challenger 3707, formerly 3944, pulls a mixed freight including stock cars, tank cars, and box cars. It was one of eight Challengers converted from coal to oil in 1952 when it received this number. It was removed from the roster in June 1961, but stopped operating probably two years earlier. It's mid-November 1954 as light Challenger 3825 billows smoke as it passes the Birdwood, Nebraska marker. Number 3825 was out of service by the spring of 1957. Challenger 3939 was photographed in Los Angeles in April 1941. This locomotive ended its service in 1957 as the renumbered 3839. Here's Challenger 3938 with marker flags in addition to marker lights on the front of the boiler. Flags were an aid to indicate the locomotive or train's status before radio communication was commonplace. It's 1945 and 2102 number 5067 double heads with Challenger 3965 with stock cars in tow. Evolutions in meat handling and trucking viability saw a decline in the use of stock cars in the decades following the war. In September 1946, a passenger train with a 482 number 7851 used 2102 5527 as a head end helper. The scene was the uphill grade of Cajon Pass in Southern California. Union Pacific 282 number 2726 leads a 482 pulling a train up Cajon Pass in 1949. The first of Union Pacific's three-cylinder 410-2s, number 8000, later served as number 8809 and finally as 5090, before ending service in 1954. By then it was a two-cylinder conversion. The UP only ordered 10 of this wheel arrangement.
And thank you for watching Aerial Images Video Magazine number 27. The rest of the Aerial Images Video Magazines are on the Aerial Images channel. Hope you'll watch. Thank you.